Hey guys, we're back with the letter when we last left off. I think we we're talking to Professor Spook. Is you know Professor Clark, but he's actually Professor Spook. Oh, hold on, let me text something. Should have done this beforehand, but uh, you know, you know how it is. And he just hangs up on him. I don't have time to spare it to stop and listen to what the professor has to say as I cut the call short. The same second, Isabella emerges from her apartment, fully dressed and ready for the day. As usual, she greets me with a smile, but it falls just as fast when she catches a glimpse of my face. Shame. That would have been the first comforting thing I see today. It don't annoys me that I'm partially responsible for the worried one replacing it. Hold on, it's hot in my going to turn my air conditioner on. Uh, glow. Okay. It, it's... It's spring now. It's March 14th. Oh, yeah. Stephen Hawking died today. That sucks. I mean, he was a lot older than he was supposed to be, but it still sucks. Dude was smart. <laughs> That's <laughs> not the best way to phrase it, but it's true. Anyway, anyway. It annoys me that I'm partially responsible for the word when replacing it. I must look close to a picture of someone choking or dying, because there's nothing but concern in the first word she speaks. Are you? Do you need to go to the bathroom? Yeah, no, no, I don't. I don't. Okay. Like but we should hurry. It. Come on, don't forget to lock your door. Seriously, you look like you're about to fall over. Are you all right? Because if you're planning to faint right here, I won't be able to carry you. Uh, I want to get rid of the new thing. There, that should be good. Yes, don't mind me. I, I just remembered some stuff from last night i need to talk to z-man about this mind if we drop by his place first hold on i'm moving my mic around him to let him know it's still pretty early but we'd probably arrive there around noon i think my microphone was too close to my mic uh, my mouse so my microphone was too close to my microphone oh so what do you mean about this is he was also there oh, when i opened oops. the letter right he read it too i'm sure he's fine but it wouldn't hurt to check on him to make sure see if if he'll say the same things you told me yesterday if it also been seeing things if it's also the same woman i saw last night i'm not saying there's really a curse yet but we we have to look at this from every possible angle that saying there's really a curse it's just you know i've seen the ghost you've seen the ghost everyone's seen the ghost and don't worry he won't mind he's probably just watching tv right now let's go okay but speak up if you're not feeling well you really look like you're choking on something. This is the day that Zachary broke in to, well, would have broken in, like, you know. You didn't have to do this for me in the first place. To the Ermengarde Mansion. You know it's not as simple as that. We head down to my car in record time, but not a single second wasted to hit the road and drive to Zach's place. If anyone of us, other than Isabella, who knows anything about what's going on, if any one of us who knows anything about... What? That is a, that's not a sentence. They forgot a word. Look, I need to start a notepad file. Just document all the grammar here and send it to the team. Look, they'll send me like a $5 check. Be like, thanks for proofreading. Or CEO, you're the best. And be like, no, no problem. That's what I'm here for. It'd actually be productive if I did do that for every visual novel I read. Since... I run into typos in practically all of them. Not all of them, but practically all of them. Who can help sort the, the muddled mess in my mind is? It's gotta be him. He listened to her. Zach's the kind who prefers to laze around his apartment on a weekend. Yeah, it's the 29th, so. Especially after having a busy week like the last one. The big guy's nowhere in sight, though, when I arrive in his unit. Figures. People don't seem to be where they should be when I need them. It's almost like they have jobs, Ashton. Look here, and I've had no sense where he might have gone to. He usually leaves a note on his fridge if he's out for the day, just in case someone drops by. If there isn't one, he probably just went out for a quick walk. I hope. Maybe he ran out of eggs or something, went out to buy somewhere, maybe he has a job? Like, I assume he does photography full time, so I mean, like, you know, he has to go take pictures of. I don't know. He is out of eggs after all. <laughs> Puts my running mind to rest for a while. They had this graphic. They were like, oh, we, ha we have to include this somehow. <laughs> he always has to have some. 
for an omelet or something he's making. Ash, should you be rummaging around? It's bad enough we went in here without asking for his permission. Chill, I'm just looking. Actually, I could also go for a freaking pie right now, pardon my French. The next fridge is next to empty, save for a few leftovers. I'll look into his side as they close it behind me. If you see me take anything, feel free to call the police. <laughs> I get it, he is the police. This will is quick to shoot me a sharp glare and another chuckle slips from me, despite the unease of my stomach. I bet he does that all the time. Like, just call the police if I do something. Call my boss on me, I dare you. The chair only lasts a mere few seconds. Must be because she hasn't been in the mood for any sort of friendly banter. It's the silence that's telling. Not quiet, Isabella? It's usually the first recipe for an incoming stuff storm. Do you always do this whenever you visit another person's house? Because I have a lot of questions about your methods. Just with Zach. She's not worried about our, for our friend, of course, and despite what's bothering Isabella, she's anxious too. She's been standing by the doorway for a few good minutes now, since we entered Zach's place, in fact. Doesn't seem to know what to do with herself. Is that correct, semicolon usage? I don't... I don't think it is. Yeah. So, a semicolon. The correct way to use a semicolon. You say a sentence that says, um, let's say... X is Y. Semicolon. The other sentence should be saying the same thing in a different way. So, X is Y. Semicolon, X, R, Y. Well, that, that's like R, the word. That, that's just a word different from is. So... Since we entered Zach's place, in fact. If that had been attached to that sentence, those have been one sentence. Like, a few good minutes now since we entered... Like, she'd been standing in the doorway since we entered Zach's place. Semicolon. She doesn't seem to know what to do with herself. That would be a good semicolon usage. But that is not, as far as I know, grammar expert over here. But as much as I want to put her at ease, her nervous takes are starting to get to me. The manner in which, in, in which she makes herself smaller, the way she fidgets with her hands, clasping them one moment and unfurling in the next. It's distracting enough that I want to ask what's wrong. I doubt she'll give me a straight answer, though. The best I can do is help her temper it. You don't have to hang around the door. You might be here for a while. You can sit down. She hesitates for a second, but eventually takes the empty seat by Zach's study table. Sure, we can, but where are we going to start? I can think of a few places he might be, but Luxburn's a big city. I don't want to miss the big guy if we leave, and... I trail off, making a vague gesture in the general direction of Zach's bed. The messy bed suggests he was out in a hurry. He didn't, even, he didn't even bother to fold the sheets. His cell phone's been left behind as well. The other odd thing would, is made it a habit to never leave it behind in case his client calls. At least the locked door points to the fact that it wasn't a forced exit. It seems to reassure her, but not so much. Understandable. Anything might happen. In hindsight, we shouldn't have left Rebecca alone, too. In hindsight, shouldn't have left Rebecca alone. We'll have to check on her later. Okay. Lots of errors this episode. Really should have made that notepad file. Hold on. I'm gonna get notepad. <laughs> no. If there's like a line number or something to track that, maybe I would, but eh. In the meantime, Zack. But with no other clues where he is and no other way to contact him, I have no choice but to wait. Sure, I could have given the room another thorough run through, but I don't think Zack would appreciate me upending his place. Isabella won't let me do that either. Besides, I haven't eaten anything today. Isabel Isabella probably has it too. We did leave in a hurry. Might as well take this change to cool down a bit, right? Anything to distract myself so that I don't I don't charge headfirst because of whatever paranoid scheme that comes to mind. Isabella with me. Can't be reckless. Shouldn't it be Isabella's with me? Like is or just no. OBS, you go there. Returning to the kitchen, the first thing I see is a bag of chips when I rifle through his cupboards. Didn't you eat all of his chips last time? No 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 right, right, I remember. After making a permission and an apology, it's only one here, I grab it. Or was this the same time? Or was it a different time? Isabella doesn't miss shooting me another glare. No, wait, no, no, no. Zachary's thing is on the 30th, I think. Yeah, I think uh, I can't click. 
Yeah, it, I can't. I can't click. Okay. So instead, I set myself on Zach's old couch and turned on the television. Isabella's silence may not be too heavy, but sure as heck is awkward. The screen lights up, right as some awful noontime drama starts airing on Channel 9. Nothing like sitting in front of the TV with a mindless drone running in the background to waste away the time. Waste it away we do. The afternoon is in its last few hours when movement comes from the other side of the door and Zach's heavy treads breaks the monotonous drivel from the TV. The lock clicks, the knob turns, and slowly it swings open to reveal a very exhausted looking Zach. What, did you run a marathon? Sub Z man. Hey Zach. Sorry we just barged in here. Ash was I think this scene played last time in Zach's route. Relax. Z Man gave me a copy of the key himself. Light as my tone might be, his arrival eases the restless edge in me. Who knows what I would have done if something bad had happened to one of my friends. If another minute had gone by without him showing up, I might have resorted to unconventional methods. Only after you broke the thirteenth one. I can't keep replacing them every time you think it'd be a good idea to break into my apartment. And stop calling me Z Man! I didn't break anything this time. Ash, just because I gave you a key doesn't mean you can just stroll in here whenever you want to. You know, that's not really a normal way to talk. Like, they. So obviously, he's talking about how he broke his locks. He would have only after he broke the 13th one. It, there's no mention of lock. And hey, is that my. Scary of the friendly banter and easy smile come naturally. I do it, even without thinking. That speaks volumes about how uncomfortable I am around him. That's nice, isn't it? What makes me afraid of it, however, is the idea that a time might come where I might just do these without even meaning to, and offend him in some way. The friendship we might we might have be closer then. The friendship we might have might be closer than most are shared with others, but there are boundaries you can't cross without the other's permission. So I've been respectful of that so far, and they're asking about my parents or what happened to them. I, I can kind of relate to that, like, uh, like, you know, you might say a funny joke and then they're like, oh, funny joke? You know, that's not funny, that's not cool. Then you're like, oh, I'm sorry. Because uh, I joke around a lot and, you know, sometimes I'm like, oh, yeah, they're, they're probably going to be fine, but they're not fine with that. So I, I got to get that. Me? But it's say not so much. It's also this easy banter that makes me wish we could stay like this. No worries, no problems. Just potato chips and the debate on whether or not I deserve them. But as usual, something always cuts moments like this short. Of course he eats all of it. You know, I was saving that for the weekend. Did you at least share some with Bella? Don't worry about it. I'm good, Zach. Really? <laughs> it's free food, you know? What was that you usually say? You don't say no to free food? <laughs> what happened? No, I'm just not hungry. Although your tone forces him to do a double take, Zack doesn't push it. The question is all too clear in his eyes when he glances my way, though. Oh yeah, we haven't looked at the branching tree yet. What are we at? I oh, we have a choice coming up! Well, maybe. Looks like a choice. Do you wish I could answer him? Wait, haven't we already done this, though? Like, in Zack's route? Hold on. Let me get the the guide up. Community guides. How far are you already? Like, I was going to say 12 minutes. 13. Uh, yeah. What's through the thick and thin achievement? Uh, you have to get the friendship meters high for the four friends, looks like. Relationship point guide? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah that, that works. Uh, is Zachary alive? Maybe? What am I supposed to do? Can't just force her to speak, can I? She's not a criminal be to be interrogated. She's a friend, for Pete's sake. It's a good thing Zack has a better handle of the situation than I. Soon enough, he changes the subject. Is this the time when they all, like, no, 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 that was a different time, when they all ate food. Because that was in the morning. Where it leads to isn't necessarily the better topic, Alfred. Aye, 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 aye. But if you want something, just say so. That's like two more ites than is in the text. Huge problem. I've got a fully restocked pantry right here at your disposal. Still not a five star level thing, but for an empty stomach, it do. Didn't he just say he's out of food? Just say the word. Like, didn't Ashton just, like. Thanks, Zach. Maybe next time. Food 
is not really what we came here for. I... we... Ash... he's the one who... She stumbles into one of her uncertain silences again before glancing my way. There's a plan there for me to take the lead in this. Where do we start? The mansion? The strange, th strange things we've been seeing? The letter? Even I am afraid of what he might say. Can't even believe I'm considering taking a deeper look into this whole thing in the first place. But here I am. No, you're right. There really are some odd things going on here lately. How is everything with you lately, Zack? Oh, hold on, Ash. Both of you. Did I just hear you say that? Is this why Isabella's here? Has something happened? Calm down. We're just here to check on things. You did just say, hey, ghosts exist, by the way. And he'll be like, oh, whoa, ghosts exist for me, too. So, did you meet Andrew about the photos? And then you guys can form, like, a ragtag team of paranormal supernatural detectives. What photographs? Unlike when he brought up the subject of the photos with me, he doesn't hesitate when Isabella asks for it. Zack hastily fishes them out of a nearby drawer and hands it to her. I can almost see it in him. The, sec the one second hindsight kicks in. The realization that she would have been a better listener than I. Makes sense. What all I've been doing until this morning is call it a Halloween prank. She goes through each of the prints in silence, her shoulders growing stiffer by the second, until she's gotten rigid and pale. But it is the telling glances they exchange afterwards that speak volumes of the things running inside their minds. What did Andrew say about them? It could be one, but there's no guarantee it's a supernatural thing. It doesn't always happen, so that's a dead end right there. Why were you playing this thing? Now this is just... think about it, bothering that guy for this feels pretty silly now, but with dreams lately... Is it just because, you know, they're like, oh yeah, it's probably been a couple months since they did that scene because they put the letter on hiatus. Good job predicting that. That's all? Did he say anything about the damn letter at all? Did you ask him even? As expected, Zack starts to look at me like I've grown a second head. Yeah, I would too. There's ever a universe where I was standing in front of myself. Because even as a child, I never believed in ghost stories. The lucky charm and mystical objects for my mother have been often stored away or given away as paltry gifts those who would appreciate them more yeah that's really everything the letter kind of slipped my mind the photos were more important at that time there was some stuff about the local horror stories though uh, talked about the curses and he was really fascinated with the story about a wraith asking for a sacrifice to move on kind of foreshadowing ask me but it does make sense if you simply go along with it i'm not sure how this will help in the grand scheme of things why are you asking about this anyway? Rose's death isn't just a coincidence, Zack. It may have something to do with... I may have... Wait, wait, wait. St stop right there for a sec. Bella, I thought you ain't buying this stuff, Ash. Just the other day, you said the exact same thing. Granted, I haven't eliminated every po single possibility here yet. But uh, what else is there to go on from here? The worry look Zack shoots my way doesn't help me. One bit in helping me gather my thoughts either. When that's what I came here for. Somehow, everyone's. Everyone's suddenly just so worried about me. It's not like I'm pulling this out of my butt. She <laughs> <It's a> butt. <laughs> I still think that's a joke. But even Rebecca, out of all people, claims there's something. Whatever this is, someone has got to look into it. Everything about this screams shady. And along with Isabella's warnings, what's occurring around Zach? It's happening around Luxburn since Isabella found that letter. Have you two seen the news this morning? Zack's puzzled expression is enough answer. Of course he hasn't. Another night, another nightmare. The guy most likely went out as soon as he got out of bed to shake the images off. The memories have never really left him. Isabella, though. I haven't, actually. Mama... Mama called, and... I was busy. That could easily mean anything. Was, was that one she heard that your father's... No, oh, that was a lot earlier. Did her Kuya, her older brother, end up in jail again? She said a bell amount numerous times in the past. All that did was... Uh... I'm sad. What is this? <laughs> uh, before... <laughs> right, like, the, uh... Says, you know, I just... Well, does that count as a curse word? Since I had censor all bad words. I changed that one to... Uh, Make me mad now, in reference to uh, a video where this guy pants wrestles. But the guy who was in that, his name's uh, Billy Harrington. He actually uh, got in a car accident, passed away a couple weeks ago. But, and today sucks. Let's up out every ounce of cheer in here. 
Or is it that the, or is it that the older, the other brother, the younger one who keeps insisting that he'll quit school so she can come home? That's two years ago, as far as I know. She already sorted that one out. Couldn't have been her father, right? But the matron's tale, she's earned enough to cover every bell for a while. It should. So, what is it then? No problem. It should be in the afternoon news as well. Whatever's bugging her, it now is something meant for casual discussion, else she would have mentioned it sooner. Talking my curiosity for later, take the remote and begin cycling through the channels. A distraction, not a good one, I admit, but it's definitely better than leaving her to brood. Eventually, I found. I find one doing a recap of this morning's few points. And there it is. Poor guy is unidentifiable. I, I remember this guy. Look how evil he looks. Unidentifiable with how badly his body's been burnt. Murder via, via arson? That's, that would be the logical explanation if I was the officer looking into it. Except, they couldn't find the source of the fire. The fire didn't even spread. Found dead in the early hours of the morning today. The fire was contained within the room and no other tenants were harmed, according to Luxborn police. They're going to get to do spontaneous human combustion soon enough, if they don't find anything else. But what's important for everyone to note is the state of the room. A similar writing was found in another victim's room from last week's incident. Both were employees of Briar Realty Corporation. LBN has reached out to the- Like what happened to Cooper? Heck, pardon my French, what are how many other deaths like this I've missed while I've been looking into right? The LPD's already thinking it's a serial killer at this point. How long until they consult with the London Metropolitan? Who was it there? Right? Not sure. The Anselm Butcher has always been an enigma, even to the people within the city. Gone for a few years, then in the next, one body after another is found. Really handling the case hasn't apparently driven the chief inspector insane years ago. Has apparently. You never did find out who committed those murders. Maybe now this time. This is because of that thing, isn't it? I did this somehow. I mean, if you didn't find the letter, someone else will. Her words all come out like a whisper. But each syllable lingers in the air, heavy with her guilt. Uh, although, I mean, if, like, Hannah found it, like, Hannah doesn't really have friends, so, I mean, it's not like she would show it to anyone. The thick tension of the room, they strike harsher than any of the things we've said. However, she also has to understand, no, that she isn't the only one on this. No one has asked her to take, up, take this upon herself. Rebecca won't. Zach won't. I sure as heck won't, yeah, pardon my French. We, we could still fix this. There's three of us here. Oh, we're about to get to this scene. It's this. Probably Isabella alive, Isabella not alive. Four if you count Rebecca. No, she's she's staying away from this. Yeah, we've done this before. I remember this. I don't this. want to involve her in this any more than I already have. Both of you as well. I already said it. That's completely out of the question. Stop asking. Encouragements aside, this is still a whole freaking mess and we're in it blind. The only way to make it worse is if we all started running around like a bunch of headless chickens. But I have a concrete plan now, I think. Maybe Isabella's right. Maybe we should dig deeper into BRC itself. Maybe we are looking at it the wrong way. However, my suspicions are mine for the moment. The details are something Zack doesn't need to know until I have something to show. It's enough that he's aware that I have an idea in mind. For his part, Z-Man doesn't push it. Nothing but a heavy silence leads our departure hours later. Seriously, Zack would probably make a more responsible officer than me, but he only had the, the heart to join the force. You could certainly use more kind people like him. But as good as that is, I push all of it into the back of my mind as Is Isabella and I head for the, my car. Tonight, I can't stay distracted. Mm, it's early, but I don't think we'll get a good calling point if I don't end it here. Because I only want to go on for like 10 more minutes. I don't want to push this in like 40, 50 minute territory. Huh. I guess I'll end it there. Like, should I talk about something? Like, I was just kind of, I was just thinking about how Hannah and Marianne's job, they're kind of like filler. But I mean, I, I don't really need to talk about that. Well, what's the definition of filler? Like, usually it means, you know, content that wasn't in the source material. It's used to fill for space usually. But I'm using it in the sense that they don't really add too much to the main story, you know? Like, Mary Ann's in particular. Like, Yana, I mean, it does, it changes Luke's route, but that's it. I don't know. 
I was also thinking that like the main characters that survived for the true ending are kind of weird. Like Isabella, Zachary, Rebecca, and Luke, I think. But you know, that that further makes th these two characters kind of like there. Like Anna's pretty cool, but Marianne's, eh. you know what I mean. Anyway, twenty-five minutes. Okay, I pushed it out long enough. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for thanks for watching guys. I'll see you guys next time when I think this this is the scene where they break into the and well like this is not really breaking in since Isabella works here. But yeah, yeah there's a quick time event, so probably. They don't have to make the Well he, Ashton doesn't have to make the guy watching the door lose his job anymore. Woo. See you guys next time. Bye.